Hey guys, this is Rosa Kelly and today I'm here with a new large mini album tutorial. This is a 12 by 8.5 with a lot of room for pictures. So let's take a look. So hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. I am super excited today to present to you not just a new tutorial but also the release of my new digital magazine as you know i run this digital magazine uh, it's a quarterly magazine however this one was a little bit <laughs> delayed uh, but it's finally here and i'm so excited so on the magazine you are going to find different um, tutorials instructions pictures exclusive to the magazine you can find that on my website also if you do subscribe to the yearly edition you save and then you'll receive all of the previous magazines for the year together with this one and i do have another new release coming up really soon so i'm super excited for that as well but now back to this um, so i created a 12 by eight and a half album which is huge but i definitely wanted to make sure that we can include a lot of large prints like eight by tens if you are looking for a good wedding album where you want to print those really large portraits um this is going to be perfect also if you're looking for a school album tutorial where again you have a lot of those class eight by ten pictures this will be a really good one to have i created one similar to this not as big i think the one that i made for my daughter was eight by ten and so i still had to crop a little bit of the eight by ten picture so for this one I wanted the pages to be eight and a half by 11 so I don't have to crop my eight by 10 pictures and we have a lot a lot of areas um, for large pictures as well a little, as little ones as well so I do have a full tutorial at the end of this video but if you want like reading instructions and again other tutorials you'll find those in my digital magazine and so now let's do a quick overlook of what we're gonna be making so here we open this up we have three signatures the reason why i only do three signatures on these type of books is because you don't want um your spine to get too heavy and you still want to make sure that your album is going to last and so that's why i don't like to overdo with a lot of signatures but the signatures have lots of room for pictures so we will take a look so on the inside cover here this large panel um this opens up like this and like this and then here again we have a large large area for pictures and then this opens like that so it's a large accordion fold and if you want to add even more layouts here you can definitely do so so then on the next page this just opens up like a little accordion gatefold page and that was really fun again the layouts are very simple um so you will see how easy it is to create a book like this um so then on the next page here we have this page that opens up and it opens down so it also looks like a gatefold but it's not wide and then this opens and opens one more time so again you have here the options of adding large pictures or just kind of breaking this down into sections uh, so then over here we have a, an opening page here and this is a pocket um, these are all also pocket pages and then here we move on to this next page this opens up and it opens down and then here again another accordion layout i love these accordion folds because they're just easy to make and give you tons of room for pictures on this next one here we have something a little bit more interactive so um we have this panel which is actually a belly band and that is what we're using to lock this page so then we have these uh, format that comes out again another large area and now we can open this up like that and then you can add more pictures on the inside of course pictures here as well and then you will slide these back into the page and that is how that's going to look and then we have the next 
page here this is a cascading page what i like to call because it comes on different sizes so your pictures can kind of grow as well and it's also really fun if you want to build more into this book like for example on each one of these openings i will probably add a pop-up and so you can add create and interact with your book a little bit more um, and then here on the inside back cover another gateful page this one opens up like this and then it opens one more time and then we have the center that also opens so very simple layouts and tons of room for pictures so i hope that you guys like the book and now let's go ahead and make it okay you guys so to make this book we are going to start with two pieces of 12 inches by eight and a half and then i have one piece of eight and a half by three inches again all of the dimensions um, will be on my magazine so what i'm going to do is join four pieces of my lightweight cardstock and i'm just going to wrap around the chipboard so i'm just going to add some glue Okay, so now we have the cover wrapped up and we are going to work on the hinges. So for that, I'm going to use one piece of lightweight cardstock and I am going to cut this down to 8 by 11 and then we are going to score. So I'm going to score every three quarter inches and we are going to start at two inches okay so then we are going to score at two and three quarters three and a half four and a quarter five five and three quarters seven and a quarter and at eight inches okay so starting at two, we're going every three quarter inches until eight. And then we are going to join together the first two pieces, the first two sections here of three quarter inch. So we're just gonna join them together and then we're going to skip and join the next two. Press down. And then again, we're going to skip and join the next two and hold down. Okay, so this book is going to have three signature pages. Now I'm going to fold them to the other side as well. And then what we're going to do is turn this to the back. And we are going to add double-sided tape to one side 
here. Okay. I'm gonna skip two and add double-sided tape. And again, skip two and add that tape. Right here like that. I'm just gonna cut this one a little bit. And then we're going to press down, press down, and then we are going to join together. So take that out, join this together, and take this one out and join those together. Okay, so there we go. Now we have three hinges here one two and three and then i am going to also add double-sided tape to the hinges so we're gonna do each side okay so now we're going to add our hinges to our book and so first I'm going to add some double-sided tape um, right next to the bending lines okay so right here and right here so I like doing this because this prevents um, any air bubbles from going in here so I'm just going to press and then we are going to remove this tape and we are going to glue the hinges. Now, when we glue the hinges, you wanna make sure that you, your three hinges are centered within your spine. So this side, it's a little bit bigger, so you can always trim it or you can leave it. Okay, so I'm just gonna trim it. So you can see how we're gonna center that right there. Okay, so I'm just going to add my glue. Let's see here. Okay, so we're just gonna add the glue. And then we are going to add these right here on the center. Okay, so there we go. And then I'm just going to press down, press down, and press down here. Okay, and then we're going to wait for the glue to dry. And what I'm going to do also is score along the bending lines. So you are going to fill the gap on the top and bottom. We're gonna use that as a guide for the bending line and we are just going to score. Okay, so one side and we're gonna fold this and then we are going to do this other side here. Okay score very slow you don't want to um, break your car stop. okay so there we go we have that and then to secure our hinges i am going to add um, a two pieces here of eight and a quarter by 11. so we're just gonna glue these two large sections and here we go. I'm just gonna add one to each side. Right here. Press down. And this is not going to be all the way. Um, it's not gonna cover all the way, which is okay because we're gonna add a hinge here. Um, or you can always 
um, use a piece of um, 12 inches and then cut these at a um, 11 and 3 quarters. Um, you can do that too. But it's okay if it doesn't go all the way because again, we're going to be adding a hinge in there for the inside corners. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this one right here. And press down. Okay. There we go. And then, now that we have the base ready, we can go ahead and work on the pages. So to make the base pages, I am going to need six pieces of eight and a half by eleven, and six pieces of one inch by 11 so i'm just going to cut six pieces of these and then we're going to score at half an inch along the one inch side so i'm just going to go half an inch okay so and then we're going to fold right along the score line and these are going to be our connector pieces for our pages so i'm just gonna fold and then we're going to grab our eight and a half by 11 pieces and i'm going to glue these connector pieces okay you could use your tape as well i just think it's easier with the glue because we can adjust it and move it so i'm going to make sure these are lined up right on the top okay now press down and then i'm going to glue the one on the bottom okay and there we go and then i'm going to press down Okay, and now that I have those two, first I'm going to make sure there's nothing coming from the side. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay, and then I'm going to add my glue right here. Okay, and we are going to add this piece right here okay again make sure it's lined up press down and then i'm going to add my glue and finish this page and then you're going to do the same for the other two pages okay so now we have our base pages ready i have my three pages and we're going to start with page one. So for page one, I'm going to use two pieces of eight and a half by 11. And I'm going to score along the 11 inch side at five and a half. Okay, so we're going to do five and a half. And I'm just going to fold these. And same thing for the other one five and a half and then we're going to fold and then we are going to use two pieces and i'm just going to use something from my scraps here and these two are going to be eight and a half by one okay so these are going to be connector pieces so eight and a half by one and I'm going to score those two at half an inch, okay, along the one inch side. Half an inch and half an inch. And then we are going to fold along the score lines. Okay, so right like this. And then I'm going to add these two pieces 
to my base page okay so page number one i'm just gonna add some glue and put this one right here okay and then press down and the other one on the other side okay so i'm just gonna glue this to this other side right here and press down and then i am going to add my two um, pieces here now you want to make sure that you add the opening side is going to be to the outside and we're just going to add some glue okay. and line this up and then we're going to add the other one right here again make sure that the opening is to the outside okay and then i'm going to add my glue right here and i'm just going to join those two together and press down okay so we're creating a um, gatefold but it's going to open like an accordion and okay so now we're gonna press down and now we're gonna work on the other side so this is gonna be our page two and we're just going to use two pieces of eight and a half by eleven and this one I am going to score at half an inch along the eleven inch side okay so then we're just gonna fold along the score line and we are going to do the same for both here okay, so this is going to be large layouts and i am just going to fold along the lines and we are going to add these two pieces to our base page and we are going to do one on each side so I'm going to add my glue right here and I'm just going to put one on the left, that's down, open that up and then we're going to do one on the other side. Okay, so there you go. So now we have these two large openings. Press down. Then I'm going to cut two pieces of nine inches okay, by five and a quarter. And I am going to score at half an inch along the nine inch side. Okay, so I'm just going to score at half an inch and fold along the score line and same thing for this other one okay and then we are going to add these pieces so we're going to add it on top of the the top panel here and i want to do one along the top okay so i'm just gonna add my glue right here press down and then i want to add the other one along the bottom now you can do both along the top if you like as well or you can do one on the top and one on the bottom which is what i'm going to do so I'm just going to add my glue and we're going to put that one right here. Okay, so press down and that is going to be our page number two.
For page three, we are going to cut one piece at nine and a half. And this is going to be by eight and a half. And I'm going to score along three sides to make a pocket. So I'm going to score along the nine and a half at half an inch. Okay, then we're going to do half an inch and again half an inch okay and then we are going to fold along the score lines okay, so we have one two and three and then i'm going to cut the corners right here okay and then we are going to glue this piece onto our page and I'm just going to add that on the left side of the, of the base page. So we're just going to glue that right here like this. I'm going to add my glue. Okay, so I'm going to start with this side and make sure this is lined up okay so we're just going to do that one okay press down and then i'm going to do the two other sides Then I'm going to cut a piece of eight and a half by eight and a half, and I'm going to score at half an inch along one side. Okay. And we are going to add this piece on top of the pocket. So I'm just gonna fold right here, and we're gonna add that. To the pocket and i'm just going to add it on the left side as well okay so this is gonna go right here Let's line that up and press down so for the next page i am going to cut two pieces of ten and a half by eight and a quarter okay and then I am going to score these two pieces at five and at 10 along the 10 and a half inch side. Okay, so five and 10. And same here, five and 10. Then I'm going to put these two on the side and I'm also going to use two pieces of the eight and a half by 11 and now these ones i am going to score at half along the eight and a half okay so same thing for both and then we're going to fold along the score lines and i'm going to glue the large pieces first the eight and a half by 11 we're going to do one along the top okay so i'm gonna add to that and as you can see i'm trying to keep my layouts large because i think the purpose of making a large book is to have areas for really large pictures like if you want to put an eight and a half or eight by ten picture you will be able to fit that right there okay so i'm just gonna glue this again and then i'm going to do the one for the bottom right here okay so i'm just gonna line this up right there and press down okay so then we have up and down like this and then i'm going to add the two other ones these are going to go side to side 
So what I'm going to do is actually fold one out and then we're going to glue this piece, one on each side. So I'm just going to add the glue here and these are going to be like accordion folds. Press down. Okay, and then you can put five by seven pictures on these two. So again, I want to fold one out like that. Add my glue. And I'm just going to put this one on this side. Okay. And press down. Okay, so there you go. We have pages three and four, and we are going to move on to the next. So page. for the next page, we are going to use two pieces, also eight and a half by eleven. We are going to score along the eleven-inch side at half and at six. Okay, so we are going to do the same here. We're going to score at half and at six. And then we are going to fold along the score lines, just like we did on the previous page. Okay, so like an accordion fold, but we are going to do um, these ones just a little bit different. So I'm going to add these two pieces on to my base. So again, one on each side so I am going to add my glue right here okay so I'm gonna put one and two there we go line this up There we go. So then we're going to cut two pieces of nine and a half by two inches. Okay, so here we go. And we're going to score these two pieces at half and at nine. Okay, so I'm just going to score at half an inch and at nine inches. And same thing for these two. Okay, and then we're going to fold, and so then we're going to add these two pieces on the center of the page right here. Okay, so that's going to be at the edge of the inside um, of the gatefold. So I'm just going to add one right here, press down, and let me just make sure this is straight and then we're going to add this one okay, right there press down and then I'm going to do this other one and I'm just gonna add this one on the other side and then I'm just going to cut a piece of eight and a half by five and I'm going to glue this piece to the center but we're only going to glue it to one of these belly bits. Okay, so I'm just going to add the glue on one side and I'm going to place this one right here. Okay, so it's like a secret um, joint right there. And then I'm going to need a large piece that is going to slide from behind. So I'm just gonna do a piece of eight and a half, sorry, eight and a quarter by 10 and a quarter. And then this is going to be 
uh, place under both of those belly bands and this is going to lock your page right there as you can see and so there we go so that's going to be page number five and now we're going to move on to page number six so for this last page i am going to cut a piece of eight and a half by ten and a half um, then we're going to do one of eight and a half by nine and a half and so one piece of eight and a half by eight and a half and i am going to score at half an inch each one of these pieces and this is going to be like a cascading type of page so along the eight and a half we're going to score at half an inch here and on the nine and a half score at half an inch and along the ten and a half we are going to score at half an inch and then we're going to fold along the score lines and we are going to glue these pieces along the left side of the base page and i'm going to start with the largest one okay so this one's gonna go right here on the left press down and i'm going to add the next one up and we are going to add this to the left side and then i'm going to add this one right on top So then we have this large cascading page so this is going to open up like this and like this and like that and now we have all of our pages ready and we can go ahead and add the pages um, to our book okay so now we're going to add the pages so i have my base here and we're going to open this up and to add the pages of course we're going to remove the tape you want to just take a little piece on the top and then we're going to find the center of the signature which is right here and then we are going to insert and you don't want to slide this all the way in okay make sure that you are staying just on top of the tape and so i'm just going to press down and remove the tape and we're going to turn this to the back and we're going to remove the tape here from the back as well okay so we're done with our pages and now let's work on the inside cover okay so for the inside front cover i'm going to start with two pieces of eight and a half by eleven and we're going to score these at half and at three quarter inches and we are going to do the same here one more time so we're going to score at half and at three quarter inches and then i am going to use three pieces of also eight and a half by 11 and now these pieces i am going to score along the eight and a half inch side at half an inch okay so half half here and we're gonna do half and then i'm going to fold along the score lines these three pieces Okay, so we're gonna fold and fold here and then we are going to layer each one on top of each other um, but I'm going to make sure that I'm gluing these on opposite sides of the score line okay so then I'm going to add my glue right here and so we're gonna add this piece let me take this out on the opposite side to create this really large accordion fold type page okay so 
two. And then three. And I'm just gonna add the glue right here. So for this book, what I've used this type of books before is for a school album where you really need to print those large A by 10s like the school class. Um, I have one of those for my daughter. It's actually really practical. You can do like a large picture on one side and then just put a smaller ones. Uh, but it's good to have this really large layouts. Okay, so now I'm going to bring my book back here and I'm gonna open that up and now we're going to add the other two pieces okay so I'm just going to fold along the score lines and for this ones we have a quarter inch gusset so I'm just gonna add my glue right here and then we're going to line this up right here to the sides put some down okay and then we're just gonna press down right here and i'm going to open that up and press down and then we're going to do the other side and gone and i'm going to glue this So this one will go right here. And this will be the same the same size as your cover. So make sure that you're gluing it right on the edge. Okay, so just like that. And then here we have our two opening pages. And then we are going to glue the other layout here okay so now i'm only going to glue the half an inch section there we go. and i'm going to put this one right along the top right here Okay, so then we have this inside cover ready and we're gonna move on to the back. Okay, so then I'm also going to use two pieces of eight and a half by 11. Now these ones we're going to score at half, three quarters and six and a half. And same thing for here. So we're going to score at half, three quarters, and six and a half. And then we're going to fold this section in. And then we're also going to fold these two score lines in like this. Okay, and same thing here fold in and fold in and then this one fold that in as well and then we are going to add let me bring this back we're gonna open this up and add one on each side okay so i'm going to start with this one and we're just gonna glue that really close to the edge. And I'm just gonna grab my glue here. Okay. And I'm just gonna glue this down. And we're gonna glue that right there. Okay, so now press down. And then we're going to stand up this quarter inch gusset that we have in there. And then I'm going to stand up this gusset here as well. And I'm going to add my glue. 
and then I'm just going to make sure these two are lined up okay so then I'm just going to press down right here okay so I'm gonna open that up and press down and there we go so that's gonna go right there press down and this is going to close like a gatefold and then we're going to open that up and open these two i'm going to cut two pieces of eight and a half by nine and a half and then we're going to score at half along the nine and a half inch side just going to score right here and fold along the score lines there we go and then we're going to add these two to the inside okay so i'm just going to open this up and then we're going to open that up open this up and we are going to glue these two pieces one on each side again okay so very very simple layouts but rooms for lots of pictures and large size pictures as well okay so i'm just gonna add my glue put this one right next to it make sure that you are not gluing on your bending lines okay press down and then we're gonna do the other one okay so some glue right there and put this one right here and press down and there you go that is going to be this layout on the back we have these two sections and then we are going to close those up these two open up and so that is going to be our large album tutorial so this turned out huge i think <laughs> lots of room for pictures easy layouts i hope that you guys enjoy um, this tutorial again all the uh, measurements instructions and other tutorials as well you can find on my digital magazine i'm gonna have the link to my store on the description box below and i hope that you guys are having a beautiful week and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye